Fighting big scary creatures is hard enough, but imagine fighting them for seven years. Well, the super handsome boys of Supernatural are about to start their seventh monster-tastic season, so they make our list at number two. I hope for your sake this is the last you see me. We're starting season seven exactly where season six left off. So Cass essentially became uh, God. We now pick up with him proclaiming his, his newfound power and saying that he really doesn't have any use for us any longer. There's nowhere to go but to really focus on, on what got us here in the first place, and that is the relationship between Sam and Dean. They're trying to figure out how to deal with Cass. They're trying to figure out what has been now released since Purgatory has opened um, because there is a new evil now in the world. I just want to dig my finger in my brain. Scratch till we're back in Kansas. All that evil sounds pretty scary to us, but what frightens Jared and Jensen? I think mutually with uh, is probably the idea of pranking each other. We both go pretty uh, balls out, and uh, we called a truce for the last couple of years. We've always had a scapegoat. It's better to team up than to team against each other. Turns out the guys team up on lots of things, including a hilarious bonus feature on the new season six DVD set. We already have enough for two gag reels for season seven, and we're only in our sixth episode. <laughs> These co-stars are tons of fun, which is why their fans always want to know more about them. One 10 on top fan even tweeted her question straight to us. My favorite new song or video? And Lynn Gigglebox would love to know. <laughs> My favorite song right now is called One and Only by Adele. My wife and I, Genevieve, went and saw the concert here in Vancouver a couple weeks back, and when she sang it live, it was insane. I'd love to know what made Lynn Gigglebox choose Lynn Gigglebox as a screen name. Maybe that's her name. Anyways, Lynn Gigglebox, thank you for the question. In a minute.